The whole tradition of the troubadours has to do with love. And our tradition of psychology begins at that time. What is the psychology of love? What happens when this thing strikes? There were debates among the troubadours as to what love was. And uh, the formulation that, uh, or one of the formulations that was most, uh, what can I say, apt, is that of the troubadour Girot de Bornet, G-I-R-H-A-U-L-T, D-E, B-O-R-N-E-I-L-H, Bornet. He wrote a poem in which he analyzed what love was. And he says, the eyes are the scouts of the heart. The eyes go forth to find an image to recommend the heart. And when the eyes have found such an image, if the heart, and here's the key word, is a gentle heart, that means a heart capable not simply of lust, but of love, two totally different things, then love is born. This is news. Uh, when you hear from pulpits talk about love, there are two kinds of love, and neither one is personal. The first kind of love is lust. Now this I define as the zeal of the organs for each other. It has <laughs> nothing to do with who's on top. Uh, it's completely impersonal. And the other definition of love is agape, spiritual love. Love thy neighbor as thyself, no matter who it is. Completely impersonal. Here comes Europe, the personal experience, the eyes go forth to find an image to recommend to this heart, and this is not a heart of lust, but a heart that knows how to respond to an image. This is what Freud calls voyeurism. Delight in the manifestation of the divine in a person. 